Well, we're here at the City of David, standing in a, yet another place of great biblical significance, Hezekiah's Tunnel. Zev, give us a little bit of the history of this amazing spot. So behind us, Eric, we could hear the actual water flowing from the Gihon Spring. Thousands of years old, flowing into Hezekiah's Tunnel, dating back 2,700 years. And where we're standing right now is a place that allows us in so many different ways to take the archaeology and show that what's written in the Bible is in fact truth. First, we have the story is in the book of Kings, in the book of Isaiah, when Sennacherib comes in the 7th century BCE to besiege Jerusalem. The Assyrian king. The Assyrian king. He's already exiled the kingdom of Israel. The ten lost tribes, they're gone. Now Hezekiah knows that the kingdom of Judah is next. And so he says, as it says in the Bible, why should the, the Assyrians come and find water? And so what does Hezekiah do? He reroutes the water to flow inside the walls of the city so that when the Assyrians come, they will not find the water. He undergoes an engineering project of four years to excavate the tunnel that is behind us, 530 meters. Now, it sounds like an amazing story, except in the late 1800s, an Arab boy finds this inscription in the middle of the tunnel. It's known as the Siloam inscription and it recounts the two teams of diggers, one from each side of the tunnel at the moment where they met and they celebrated saying, oh my God, we actually did it. Without GPS, without radars, they were able to engineer a almost 2,000 foot long tunnel. This is kind of a biblical high five. Absolutely, a, bit, a yeah. biblical high five. Now, what else? The whole story then what happens, the Assyrians come, Sennacherib comes, besieges Jerusalem. It was the mightiest army of the time. Isaiah comes to Hezekiah, Hezekiah doesn't know what to do, and Isaiah says to him, by the way they came, so shall they return. Not a single arrow will fall within the walls of Jerusalem. And then the next morning everyone wakes up and the Assyrian army has disappeared. Now it's almost too good to be true, except that in Iraq was discovered this prism, known as Taylor's Prism, which is the account of Sennacherib himself of when he comes to Jerusalem. And it says that he traps Hezekiah like a bird in a cage. And he leaves him there, and he has to go back to Nineveh to deal with political instability. So you have here Sennacherib confirming the biblical account that they came to Jerusalem, but they left Hezekiah and the Jewish people in Jerusalem. And so amazing that the tunnel is still here and the water is still flowing. Absolutely, it's still flowing. And to put the cherry uh, on top, the icing on the cake, just two months ago, Eric, where we're standing just a few feet from where we are right now, the Dr. Mazar, the archaeologist from the Hebrew University, she discovers this seal. This seal bears the name of a biblical official that you and everyone watching at home right now has for sure heard of. The name on the seal is Hezekiah, son of Ahaz, king of Judah. The Bible is real and Jerusalem is really the eternal capital of the Jewish people. And Zeb, you're giving us a great history lesson. Much more coming up with Zeb Orenstein from the City of David. This is an amazing place, folks, and there's more. So stick around after the break. It's The Watchman only on TBN. Don't move. <laughs>